welcome back to my channel for those who are new here this is Simmers beauty welcome and how are you all doing how's everyone been i'm so sorry i haven't been on for a while it's been a minute and i've missed you guys so so much but i've um, just been busy and i will do my best to post more so today what do you guys think i have created this beautiful look perfect for valentine's day and i'm just so excited for you guys to try this out it's just so glamorous and so pretty for valentine's day valentine's day is in the corner and i came up with this look and i hope you guys enjoy it. and i did my best to make this as easy as possible so i hope you enjoy the tutorial and um, i just hope you guys enjoy watching this video without further ado let's jump in the video so first starting with is my base for my eyes i'll be using the painterly pimp up by mac it is one of my favorite eye primers so I'll be using the Morphe M166 brush. It's a flat brush. I'm going to use that to apply the eyeliner. To apply the eye primer on my eyes. So after applying that, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty powder in Cupcake. I'm just going to use that just to set my primer so it doesn't crease. So for the eyeshadow, I'll be using the Saharan by Juvia's palette. So the first shade I'll be using is this one right here. To apply that eyeshadow, I'll be using the Morphe M506 brush. So I'll be using that Ketsana shadow and I'll just be blending that into my crease. This is because I want to create that soft cut crease look. I don't want to go straight with red because if I do, then that's just going to look very, very harsh. So I just kind of want to make it look very soft. So as I'm applying that transition shade, we are dragging that up here because I'm going for that really nice lifted cat eye look. After applying it there, I'm just going to use that same shade over here because we will be cutting the crease from this area as well. So we need to have some color here too. So moving to the next color, I'll be using the Sokoto. Sokoto. The Sokoto. It's such a nice red color. So with the same brush, I'll be applying that on the crease area again. So we want to make sure we do it above our crease. We are literally applying this in the same area where we applied the transition color. Don't forget to apply here. It's okay if you get some shadow here because we will be cutting that with concealer in a bit. But we're just going to try to get the colors right before we use a concealer. So I'll be using this red shade from the James Charles palette. This red shade is very nice and pigmented, so I'll be using this on top of the red shade. So using the shade Chad from the Sahara palette, so just applying that close to my crease, so below all those colours. Just blending that through the crease so it doesn't look harsh. Right where I'm going to be cutting my crease. So when I do, it just gives me that darkness effect. So the concealer I'll be using is from Cover Effects Power Play Concealer in the shade G Light 2. So for the brush, I'll be using the M124 from Morphe, the concealer brush. So for the concealer, I'm going to be applying that above my normal crease. The day I, you know, plan to do a video, it starts getting cloudy and it is going to rain as you can hear the thunder. During my video, and this is what happens. Like, I just scared the shit out of me. Oh my god. Oh, let me just set this uh, crease before it creases so I can move on to my next eye. 
Seriously, it just had to rain when I wanted to do my video. So I set my concealer off the camera and the shade that I use to set it with is this shade right here. This is what I used to set my concealer. So I'll be going in with this shimmer right here and I'm going to put that all over my lid. So now applying that all over the concealer we applied. So I'll be using the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick in the shade 20. I know how you pronounce it. Fiona? Fiona? Fiona, I think that's how you pronounce it. So I'm going to be using this because this is waterproof and smudge proof. It stays on all day. It's perfect for eyeliners. So using the angled brush from Morphe, it's the M158 brush. So I'm going to grab a tiny bit. So to make it more red, I'm going to be using the same red shade that I used on my lids from James Charles palette and I'm going to apply that right on top of my eyeliner. It makes it look more red than pink, so it kind of works, so we'll just go with it. So I'm going to use a black shadow from the Sahara palette and I'm just going to get the thin brush again and draw just a straight black line right here underneath the liner. very neatly and then draw a black line where your wing is kind of here and now we're just going to connect that line just to go straight up from the other crease now that we're done with our eyes we're going to move to our face so as for my primer, I'll be using the Huda Beauty, the Nymph Body Highlighter in the shade Luna. I know it looks a bit scary, but trust the process. It's going to not look like this once you have the foundation on. So for foundation, I'll be using the Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup by Estee Lauder in the shade 2W0 Warm Vanilla So for concealer, I'll be using the Cover FX Concealer in the shade G Light 2 Going to apply that right over here, over here The nose Chin and forehead So I quickly set my under eye and my whole face with the Huda Beauty Powder and Cupcake. Um, I was really in a hurry so I didn't have time to put it on and record it. So I quickly did that off camera. So going with the Filter Effect Finishing Powder in Filter 11. So I'm going to be using this shade to do my contouring. And once we finish our whole face, then we'll finish off our eyes completely. Tapping twice because they are very, very pigmented. I told you so, they're so pigmented. Mm. Using a fluffy brush, I'm just going to apply the contouring on my nose. To kind of make your nose look a bit slimmer. Now moving to blush, so I'll be using the Coral Spectrum Blush Palette, so drop it right here, just gives a really nice shade and colour to your face, we do want to go really really nice and soft for the face because our eye is very dramatic, but 
uh, you don't need that much anyways, so that's all we're gonna do. So a little bit color on the nose. So for highlighter, I'll be using my all-time favorite highlighter from Maybelline. It's the Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. As you can see, it's nearly finished. This is my literally, I think, second or third one that I've been hitting pan. And I just love these highlighters. It's just like the best. I'll probably like get more. I'm going to be applying that on my cheekbones. So every time it comes to my nose highlighter, I always use a really thin, small tapered brush. I'll be using the M431 Morphe brush. I like this brush because you can apply whatever you want to anywhere without it getting messy. I'm just applying it just on the tip of the nose and the bridge of the nose. So again, with the same highlighter, I'll be applying that in my inner corners and the same brush. So I'll be applying that under my brow bone. So continuing for the bottom eyes before we go in with our lashes, I'll be grabbing the same shade as we did as for our transition. And I'm just going to apply that at the bottom here. And also with the red shade from the same palette, I'll be using that to blend it under my eyes as well. So with the last shade that I'll be using is the black. I'm going to darken it up a little bit. So for my waterline, I'll be using the Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade 604 Milk. I'll be applying that right in the waterline. So for mascara, I'll be using the Bad Girl Bang Mascara by Benefit. So I did my eyebrows off camera and what I used for my eyebrows, I used a gel liner from morphe it's called coffee so it's not a pomade it's not for the eyebrows i used a brown eyeliner for my eyebrows because it was just so nice and pigmented and it was just so nice and creamy so it works so much better than an actual pomade does for lips i'll be using the mac matte lipstick in 631 yash For the lip gloss, I'll be using the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fussy. Before I finish everything, I need to set my face with a setting spray. And for that, I'll be using the Morphe X Jeffree Star Set and Refresh Mist in the scent Star Berry. So my beauties, what do you guys think of this makeup look? I had so much fun creating this look for you guys. It's just so nice and flirty and glamorous for Valentine's Day. And I hope you guys all enjoy your Valentine's Day. If you ever try creating this look, don't forget to tag me at Seamus Beauty. And don't forget to follow me on my Instagram at Seamus Beauty. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to push your notification bell. So every time I post, you get notified. And until next time, bye!